Hello and welcome to another TLC Tutoring Company Accounting lesson. In this lesson, we will be going over how to construct a statement of retained earnings for a corporation. In our prior video, we went over a single step income statement for SAC Corporation. We're going to move forward to the second financial statement in this series, a retained earnings statement. So we've already categorized all of the accounts on our adjusted trial balance as assets, liabilities, capital income, or expense. Our statement of retained earnings is actually, um, in my opinion, one of the simpler statements. You don't have to be categorizing accounts as much as you normally would for some of the others. But we are going to be using another very basic formula. So when you're starting to tackle financial statements, each one has a general formula that you can kind of use as your skeleton. So for the statement of retained earnings, our basic formula is beginning retained earnings plus net income minus dividends equals ending retained earnings. Now keep in mind, if you want to work along with us, you can go to our website. I'll link to that in the description below. And there you will be able to find the blank worksheet that we use to tackle this type of problem. So let's get started with our beginning retained earnings. When you're doing your beginning retained earnings, um, some textbooks are fine with you just writing beginning retained earnings. I'm just going to be a little bit more thorough in this video. Uh, since, this is for, since this is for the month ended, uh, January 31st, I know that my beginning retained earnings balance is at the beginning of this month. So I'm going to write retained earnings, comma, January 1st, 20x1. I know that the beginning of the month is the beginning of the period here. Now for this particular company, it may not be uh, extremely clear, maybe a little bit here. So notice here that currently the retained earnings balance has a balance of zero, just to kind of shed some light on why that is. This is the first month of operations. They have just incorporated. So that is why we're seeing a retained earnings balance of zero. But if there was a retained earnings balance in there, we would simply have to go and find that balance. So let's go ahead and put that zero in. Perfect. And now our next step is going to be to figure out what all of those increases and decreases during the period are. So we are going to be bringing it up by net income or down if it is a net loss. And then we're going to decrease it by dividends. So let's start with our net income. Our net income will be grabbed from the prior financial statement. Notice we already have a completed income statement above. 96,500 was our net income for the month. So we are going to be bringing that down to our statement of retained earnings here. That's why we must do our income statement first. Now keep in mind here, these two columns are not debits and credits. They are simply for formatting. All of our increases and decreases during the period, as we're making essentially a type of list, will go in the left-hand column. So we just made it go up by net income. Our next step is to make it go down by our dividends. Uh, let's take a look. We have two dividend accounts. We have one for common and one for preferred. Let's put those on. I'm gonna say less just to indicate that this, is, this has to be subtracted. Dash common less perfect and then let's put those two in 8,000 and 2,000 perfect our next line is going to go ahead and subtotal up that increase in retained earnings during the month so keep in mind it went up by net income but then it went down by our dividends. So essentially we are doing 96,500 minus 8,000 minus 2,000. Okay. So the increase in retained earnings during the month is $86,500. And our last line is going to be our, re and our ending retained earnings, which in my case would be 31st. And in here, we started with zero, we increased it by 86,500, so we have an ending balance of $86,500. All right, so that will be it for the statement of retained earnings. 
Next on our agenda is going to be the balance sheet. Keep in mind your balance sheet, we're going to be grabbing all those assets, liabilities, and capital accounts. Keep in mind here, since we're moving on to a corporation's balance sheet, it's going to be a little bit more complicated in the stockholders equity section, but we'll take a look at that once we get there. All right, I will see you in the next video, and until next time, happy studying.